recording. Hi guys, good morning. It's me again. Okay. Oh, what a beautiful day. So today I'll be riding. Uh, first Sunday ride, the proper Sunday ride for me. For the, um, it's already been four or five months. Uh -huh. Thank God for that, I'm able to return to my Sunday ride. So today I'm not sure where's the destination yet. Uh, but, but I'll be riding with my good friend Eric with his new KTM 1290 Super Adventure S. Okay, and I'll be riding my beautiful Yamaha Tracer 900 GT. Okay, guys, so I'll see you around and uh, show you more footage later. And uh, God bless. Safe ride. Bye. Okay, guys, another Sunday ride. Okay, with my gang, there's a lot of new bikes. We have a Hayabusa here, you know, KTMs, CBR, Suzuki, Ducatis, all kind of bikes. <laughs> okay, let's go. Beautiful the goddess. Oh yeah, even a GTR here. Recording. Okay, there are many many bikes today. I think easily twenty bikes and above. Okay, all kind of bikes. Huh. We have the anti O nice. 1190 KTM, 1290, all kind of bikes, huh? sports bike, naked bike, touring bike, adventure bike, you name it, man. <laughs> okay, let's have some fun. Okay, let's go. Okay, now me and my friend Eric with his uh, new 1290 uh, chasing the front group because uh, we are at the back 
so oh, we are making sure the rest they are all in front uh, we call it a sweeper yeah, no <laughs> I don't know but by the way we are chasing them okay so we yeah, are riding a bit harder comparing to the normal speed but it won't take long for us to chase them up because there's traffic up front there you are, we can see the group is there Okay, throttle This 1290 is indeed very powerful bike. Yes. And good handling as well. You can see the movement from Eric. Okay, we're gonna overtake a few of our bikers. Oh, he's kind of slow, dangerous. Make way, my friend. <laughs> Now we are chasing the front group. Just, just now the one was the back one. Meaning they, they ride a bit slow, slower, slowly. Okay, I saw them. The front group guy. Okay, it's a bit dangerous here.
Wow, it's nice. It's damn nice. Okay, we are here at uh, Rantau. Uh, I'm with my front group of people already. I guess uh, maybe another one or two super bike up front. Okay, by the way, it's nice. It's really nice. Oh Okay, chasing them. Okay, I sharpen up my throttle. Uh, put it in the mode A, which is the most aggressive uh, mapping. Oh, that's a eleven ninety nine Panagali. <laughs> he is very daring, man, and it's loud. Hello, please don't block my way. Let me go. Ah, come on, man. I know you're a booster, but you're cornering um, a bit slow, so please let me go.
ข้าวข้าวข้าวโดนเปเปโอ้ this six c c is fast man I guess you need to full throttle all the time it's a six n e r six n yep Okay. Okay. So we are waiting for the rest over here, and uh, just wait. Bye. Okay. Oh, send. Okay. We're right here at this a uh, Simpang Ampat. Okay. Look at my group of uh, bikers. Nice. A lot of them. Okay. Ah, oh, waiting at this uh, super duper hot. What the three Celsius? Um, super hot weather. Uh huh. Da da da. Okay, so turn. Okay. Standing up now. Okay, down there is the highway, North South Highway. Wow, how nice is that, man? Okay, we have uh, this. Um, what is that called? It's a duty-free shopping complex up front. Uh, they call it Free Port or something like that, right? The Freeport, Malacca. It's a duty-free shopping complex. There you are. Freeport and Famosa Outlet. And there you are. This is the entrance of the. Uh, a Famosa is a resort, it's a water park resort which is quite famous in uh, Malacca. <laughs> Hi guys, okay, we are here at Ayekune. Okay, we'll be having our lunch here. I guess I came here a couple of times already, so this is the place. They have a Chinese store with a very, very good food. Okay, so this is where I want to come. Okay, Lam Yat Wan. That's the one. Okay, nice. Oops. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
Okay, there we are. This is where we are parking. Okay, then. Okay guys, we're done here and uh, we're heading home. Okay, we're at the bill for Sunday. Hey, huh? Okay. Let's go home. Right, safe, safe ride. Oh. <coughs> oh, this is my friend Chong's Honda CBR 650R. Very, very gorgeous, nice bike. But for his size, just um, just nice. But for my size, I don't think so. <laughs> you guys know that I'm a big guy, 100 kilo guys, 100 kg. <laughs> Looks good, man. Really, very nice, very good bike. Okay, we gotta wait here for the rest of them. There you are. Okay, they are all coming. What a beautiful bike and what a beautiful Sunday and a very nice food. Okay. Very nice. But uh, guys, for your information, this this traces, the brake is a bit, um, I would say, soft, especially after spirit, spirited riding like just now. Okay, it's uh, it's starting to fade a bit. Maybe due to it uses the normal this uh, rubber hose. Okay, if I I mean the brake brake hose. If uh, if you change it to the stainless steel metal type of uh, the braided hose i think it should be made better i mean the feeling of the braking you won't feel like so spongy and like uh, rubbery like that you see so i'll strongly suggest you guys to change it if you want it to ride uh, spiritedly ride fast Otherwise, uh, no problem at all. It's just that um, maybe it uh, the pads also a bit overheat or something, so a bit fade, you see. But it's still okay, like everything's still under control. Okay, just for your information. Other than that, mm, no problem. The power is, uh, I would say, enough. It's not really like freaking strong or what, but enough. Okay. Um, you can ride fast with this this bike, but of course you can't compare with those uh, sports super naked or you know, like my single R or maybe you know some other bikes. Okay, for a 900 cc inline three, this is considered. <laughs> they call this uh, this engine this particular Yamaha's. Uh, cross plane three CP three engine. Uh, they call this a. It's a germ. It's a germ already. It's a quite a good three cylinders um, nine hundred cc bike. I mean uh, engine. No complaints. The torque is quite okay. It's good. They call it master of torque. That's why. But I found it is uh, accept. No, not acceptable. It's uh, sufficient. But not not as advertised as like you know that master of talk like you know super duper talky, mm, not really. Mm, I mean for for myself lah, you see. 
But for others, maybe yes, because I have a single arm with a 1000cc, 4 cylinders, 165 horsepower, uh, that one definitely higher, but we definitely can't compare with that. That is a 1000cc bike, a sport bike, and this is in fact a uh, sports touring bike. You know, their settings are different, so different in fact. So we can't compare both. But I would say for 99% of majority, 99% of uh, people, I think this kind of power is, uh, is more than enough for them. Okay? Okay guys, so I think that's it. So I'll call it, um, uh, we are on the way back to Surimban and uh, I'll call it a day. Okay, I'm gonna concentrate on my riding and stop talking unless uh, I have um, some interesting stuff. Otherwise, uh, I won't, uh, I won't uh, take this uh, video anymore. I mean, for, for today. I think that's the end of the video. So if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and uh, <laughs> like my video. Okay, you can comment anything you like. Good, bad, you know, where I should improve, you know, stuff like that. So that's it. A beautiful Sunday. Uh, ride with my beautiful Yamaha Tracer 900 GT. Okay, for foot hunting in... Um, uh, okay, we went to this... Uh, ah, what they call this already? Ah, I forgot. Ai uh, Kuning or something. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.